verdict is in guilty on all counts. Tory did not react. He stood motionless, staring forward the entire time. They polled the jurors to make sure that what everybody was saying was in fact guilty. They went through one, two, three, four, five to 12. Every single person said guilty. Tory was taken into custody, remanded into custody. No bond at this time. Sentencing is set for January 27th. Guilty on all three counts. Tory Lanes will be sentenced on January 27th. He has been remanded and taken into custody by the Los Angeles Sheriff. Well, there you guys have it. In the case of Daystar Peterson, a.k.a. Tory Lanes versus the state of California, Tory has now been found guilty on all three charges of shooting Meg the Stallion in the foot. And for those of you who haven't been following this court case as closely as I have, let me kind of just break down this story for you based on the witness testimony and based on what everyone's been saying for the last two years while they've been waiting for this to go to trial. So to really understand this story, you have to go all the way back to the summer of 2020. Meg Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez are both equally coming up in the music scene very quickly. They're garnishing a lot of fans, they're getting a lot of mainstream attention. And all of a sudden they start being pictured together everywhere they go. A lot of people start to assume they're romantically involved. But then that all came crashing down on that summer night in 2020. When Meg Thee Stallion was chilling at Kylie Jenner's house. She tells Tory Lanez to come on over, come hang out. Something goes down there at that Kardashian mansion. Meg Thee Stallion, her best friend Kelsey Harris, and Tory Lanez all decide to dip out. They're driving in this car. It's safe to assume that the three of them were all pretty drunk. They start fighting about something. Meg the Stallion wants to get out the car. As the way was told in court, they all start fighting and are basically causing a scene outside of this vehicle. And as they found it in court today, apparently Tori reaches over the top of the car door. Boom, 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 fires five shots with some of them hitting Meg the Stallion in the feet. And this was the popular narrative when this initially happened. But over the next couple of years, Tori would come out and seemingly try and clear his name, saying that he was being blackballed by the industry and saying that he was essentially in a who framed Roger Rabbit type of situation. Now I want to take a moment to get more into the details of what the witnesses said, what went down during the course of the last two weeks of this trial, and why I feel like we're treading some murky waters here with this court case. Okay, so Tori was convicted of three felony accounts. Assault with a semi-automatic handgun, carrying a loaded, unregistered firearm in a vehicle, and for basically shooting the gun. For being found guilty of these three crimes, he's now facing up to 20 years in prison, and of course could be deported back to Canada. Obviously, this has been a massive story over the last couple of years, with a whole lot of people being on Team Meg Thee Stallion and a whole lot of other people being on Team Tory. So as Meg Thee Stallion put it during her testimony, like I said, Tory reaches over the window, he says, dance, bitch, dance, and then he's firing at her feet four or five times. She's saying that what caused him to get so aggravated to the point that he would shoot her is basically that she said his music was whack, and that his ego was out of control for how big of an artist he actually was. Now, Tori's story, on the other hand, was completely different. He's saying that night they went to Kylie Jenner's house, that he had been having a romantic relationship with Meg Thee Stallion's best friend, Kelsey Harris. But during those couple of weeks when he was being pictured with Meg Thee Stallion over and over again, apparently they also started to be involved in a romantic and intimate relationship. And so what Tori's saying is that that night that they went to Kylie Jenner's house, that that was when Kelsey found out that her best friend Meg the Stallion was pretty much sleeping with the guy that she was talking to. The way Tori tells it is that this resulted in a fight between the two women and so they wanted to leave the party and also that Kylie Jenner at that point was like, oh, y'all gotta get the fuck out of my house. And what he's saying is they left that party, the two women continue arguing in the car to the point where Meg the Stallion wants to get out of the car. Tori's defense team then says that Kelsey took the gun from the car which belonged to Tory Lanez, started shooting at Meg the Stallion while she was turned around. They say that's when Tory came in, he starts trying to grab the gun from Kelsey, they start having this struggle, and then once he gets the gun from her, he shoots up in the air, boom, 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 five times, just to kind of try and defuse the situation. While this whole situation was going down, there was really only one other eyewitness that I would consider to be impartial. It was this random person out on their balcony that night, and basically when that person recounted this whole situation, they say that they're woken up by a loud fight going on in the middle of the street between two women, who we can assume to be Meg Thee Stein and Kelsey Harris, her best friend. And he says the first flashes of light that he thought were fireworks came from the hands of one of the women, leading a lot of people to believe that Kelsey was the shooter. 
This witness also added that he then saw the short man, who's Tory Lanez, apparently firing everywhere four or five times. The other thing is, as you can see here, is that experts testified that gunshot residue was found on both Tory Lanez and Kelsey Harris, who were in close proximity, though DNA evidence tying Tory Lanez to the weapon was inconclusive, saying that they didn't even test Kelsey Harris for a DNA sample. I also didn't think that it would help her case that at the time of the shooting, when the police showed up, and they asked what happened to her feet, she told them they had stepped on glass. And over the last two years, that police report led to a lot of people not believing in Meg. But her prosecution team says that in her defense, the reason that she lied to the police that day was because she didn't want to be a snitch, and that snitching is frowned upon in the hip-hop community, which she identified as a boys' club. They also talked about during the trial, how in Meg Thee Stein's interview with Gail King, she lied about not having relations with Tory Lanez. And what she has to say about the reason she lied about that is that she lied because it was disgusting, adding, how could I share my body with someone who could shoot me? But like I said, we have to respect the process. Do I think that the general public will ever know exactly what happened that night? Absolutely not. But at this point, he has been found guilty. Y'all let me know what you guys think about the verdict down below. If there's any more updates in this situation, which I'm sure there will be, I will continue to update you guys here on my channel. I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. Dropping a like. Really seems like the end of Tory Lanez. Y'all let me know. It's been your boy Tan Superman, and I'm out. Peace!